welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my comfort food crock pot slow cooker edition. This was outstanding. We are talking pizza casserole in the slow cooker. Absolutely perfect for a busy night when you have kids things going on, you work late, or even on the weekends when you're just rushing to fit everything into your day. Definitely a must make recipe. Absolutely outstanding so good. So if you want to see what I have in store for you for this edition of my WW Comfort Food Series for the entire family in the slow cooker, just stay tuned. For dinner tonight, for this amazing new part of my comfort food series, we have a slow cooker crock pot pizza casserole you guys this sounds amazing i cannot wait for this my husband is so excited i go to jazzercise tonight so this is the perfect recipe if you're busy in the evenings and just want to come home and eat your dinner so let me show you what is in our slow cooker pizza casserole you're going to need some pasta i'm going to be using my fiber gourmet light rotini Look at this, you guys, 19 grams of fiber, eight grams of protein, only 23 net carbs, non-GMO. This is honestly the best pasta ever. I purchased this off of the Nettrition website. There is a link down in the description box. It will take you directly to the Nettrition website. There are hundreds, and I mean hundreds of WW friendly products. This is one of the must haves. Two ounces of this pasta is three smart points three and it keeps you full because of that added fiber and protein there's rotini elbows regular spaghetti noodles and penne pasta obsessed you guys regular pasta is five to six smart points for two ounces so this is half half the smart points and this pasta is so good it doesn't get soggy and mushy it really is in my opinion the best pasta my husband does not like any other pasta now that he's tried the fiber gourmet so absolute staple check out the nutrition website definitely add this to your cart minced garlic my marinara is the skinniest dish crock pot marinara i will make sure to link this recipe down in the description box as well no matter how much of this marinara you have it's zero smart points love it also some 96.4 extra lean ground beef mozzarella cheese turkey pepperoni an onion. I'm going to be using the last half of this red onion. And then the recipe calls for green bell pepper. I have orange, so we're going to do orange bell pepper. So let's get started on this crock pot comfort food meal. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to chop up our bell pepper and our onion. I'm just going to put it in my pan because we're going to cook it down with the ground beef before we add it into the crock pot. So let's get chopping and then we'll get everything browning in the fry pan. When you look at me like that I swear that something in the air so To cook down our onions and our peppers, I've added in 50 slices of turkey pepperoni. I've added in my ground beef and a big scoop of garlic. We're going to cook this down drain any grease and then we're ready to get this into our crock pot so this is the hardest part is the chopping and the pre-cooking a little bit i don't care for raw meat in my crock pot anyways so i like the fact that we do pre-cook this drain the fat and then add it to the crock pot so let's get this cooking up and then we'll be ready to assemble everything into our crock pot step is to get your crock pot ready to go so i went ahead and added a liner it really does truly make for easy cleanup to our crock pot, we're going to go ahead and add in our fiber gourmet pasta, and we're going to put that right on the bottom of our crock pot. To that, we're going to add that meat and vegetable mixture. Then we're going to add that meat, veggie, pepperoni mixture right to the top of our noodles. We're just going to give this a quick preliminary stir, and then to that, we are going to add one cup of water and we're also going to add 32 ounces or this entire jar of the crock pot marinara and then we'll give that another stir and there you have it doesn't that look so good so we're going to go ahead and turn this on low put the lid on and we're going to let this cook five to six hours so with this recipe you do not want to be lifting your lid on and off of your crock pot once you put your lid on it needs to stay on throughout the entire cooking process. So I'll be back in five to six hours or for just a flash for you. So I just took the lid off of our pizza casserole. Look how good 
this looks. So I'm going to be adding one cup of the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella cheese right to the top. I'll be back to show you what that looks like. I'll plate it up and give you the smart points. So here is what the pizza casserole looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up. I have some carrots in the microwave and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. All right, so here is my dinner. So I have some carrots with just a little bit of the I can't believe it's not butter spray, salt and pepper. And the pizza casserole, you divide it into six servings. So this is one sixth of the casserole and it is only six smart points. So this entire dinner, six points. Thank you for joining me on another WW comfort food for the entire family in the slow cooker. This dinner was so good. My husband loved it. He gobbled up all the leftovers the next day. That's how much we loved this recipe. It was so easy, so easy. Once you fried those things up, you throw it all in your slow cooker and you come out with a perfect pizza filled dinner. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I also hope you're enjoying this spin on my traditional comfort food series, just bringing in the slow cooker for the fall and winter season. If you did, please thumbs up this video. It really helps out my channel, puts it in the algorithm of YouTube, and just overall helps me out tremendously. Also, if you're new, I'd love it if you would take a moment and subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload. You don't wanna miss a video. And comment down below, let me know if you're gonna try this recipe and if you're enjoying this spin on my comfort food series. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.